I say gold. Gold, right? You know what? Then I'm gonna go with what I really love. Do it's four ninety-nine, fifty percent off. Sure than this. Oh my god! I don't have enough. Take the one on display. Yeah. Are you allowed to do that? No, pretty sure you're not, but I need six. And I'm not living without six. Excuse me, <laughs> management. <laughs> Let me. Right here, this is the one. Look how pretty that is. All right. I love it. Hey everyone, it's Katja here and we're back with some more furniture painting tutorials. This week we're using some redesigned with Prima products and taking a display hardware from Hobby Lobby. Oops. Hopefully Hobby Lobby is not watching this video and figuring out who is taking the display hardware. It wasn't me. <laughs> This week, we're starting with this vintage dresser. It's in okay shape, but the build quality is pretty low. But that's okay, we're going to bring it back to life so it can be loved once again. And that's what we do here. I did remove the hardware and clean the piece before I started. I really wanted to keep this hardware, but it was rusted and bent. And because it's vintage and dark, we're going to prime it first to be safe. Because I have a feeling that this piece is a heavy bleeder. Sometimes you have to trust your gut. A lot of times you have to trust your gut. Always trust your gut. <laughs> I'm using Zinser primer with shellac to make sure we have no problem with the bleed through. I like to use a roller for this to get smooth, even coverage. But I will use a brush for any areas that are difficult for a roller. I ended up using two coats of this primer. One of the boards on the top was cracking and needed to be filled with wood filler. I like to do this part after the primer. When you have a primer on, you can clearly see where wood filler is needed. I let that dry and sanded it down and now it was ready for some paint. We're going with Rust-Oleum Linen White for our color. I used two coats for this for solid coverage. After the two coats were dry, I decided to do some light distressing. Nothing crazy, just here and there. I'm using 80 grit sandpaper and I'm lightly going over all the borders of the dresser. And now for the fun part, we're going to use a transfer. These transfers make you feel like an artist, even if you can draw like me. I can draw. This transfer came in six pieces, but I already used the top two. Once you peel them back, they're sticky and you just line them up where you want. Mm -hmm. 
that's really the hardest part lining them up you just have to take your time the rest is easy you use the stick it comes with and press the image down everywhere Then you peel it back slowly to make sure everything is transferred. It's really that simple to do. As you peel it back, you will find little parts here and there that didn't transfer. Just press those parts down again and transfer them over. I also had to take my blade to cut the drawers out. Again, take your time with this so you can cut in straight lines. Now we do this to all of the sections. This one section here did not come out perfect. Alcohol probably left it the way it was, but it was bothering me and I had to fix it. To fix it, I started by grabbing some green chalk paint and a detail brush. Then I added some black to darken the green. And then some purple. And then finally, I outlined it carefully with some black and used my finger to blend it in. It's not perfect, but no one will be able to notice if they don't know we fix it. And now it was time to protect the piece. I'm using Dead Flat by Paint Couture and this sponge brush. The only real trick to this is you want to go in long straight strokes. And you don't want to overwork it, you can always add more coats of extra protection. For a little added detail, I decided to use these decor stems on the side of the drawers. I'm using linen white again for my color. To use them, you just roll some paint on them and press them on like a stamp.
And now it was time to add my new hardware. The one we got at Hobby Lobby because it was so gorgeous. <laughs> And it was done. I really love how this piece came out. I am obsessed with these huge transfers from Redesign with Prima. They're so easy to use and they put your furniture on another level. I didn't do anything crazy to this piece except paint it white and look at it now. It's a piece of art, a statement piece, just gorgeous all together. And the hardware did something special to it. Also, I had to add touch of gold on the piece and that was my touch of gold. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next Friday with new project and more ideas. Bye guys.